Brought to you by wikivd.com Electric charge Electric charge is the physical property of matter that causes it to experience a force. When placed in an electromagnetic field, there are two types of electric charges, positive and negative. Like charges repel and unlike attract. An absence of net charge is referred to as an object is negatively charged if it has an excess of electrons and is otherwise positively charged or uncharged. The SI-derived unit of electric charge is the coulomb. In electrical engineering, it is also common to use the ampere hour, and, in chemistry, it is common to use the elementary charge as a unit. The symbol Q often denotes charge. Early knowledge of how charged substances interact is now called classical electrodynamics and is still accurate for problems that don't require consideration of quantum effects. The electric charge is a fundamental conserved property of some subatomic particles, which determines their electromagnetic interaction. Electrically charged matter is influenced by and produces electromagnetic fields. The interaction between a moving charge and an electromagnetic field is the source of the electromagnetic force, which is one of the four fundamental forces. 20th century experiments demonstrated that electric charge is quantized, that is, it comes in integer multiples of individual small units called the elementary charge, E. Approximately equal to, the proton has a charge of plus E, and the electron has a charge of minus E. The study of charged particles, and how their interactions are mediated by photons, is called quantum electrodynamics. Overview Charge is the fundamental property of forms of matter that exhibit electrostatic attraction or repulsion in the presence of other matter. Electric charge is a characteristic property of many subatomic particles. The charges of freestanding particles are integer multiples of the elementary charge E. We say that electric charge is quantized. Michael Faraday, in his electrolysis experiments, was the first to note the discrete nature of electric charge. Robert Millikan's oil drop experiment demonstrated this fact directly and measured the elementary charge. By convention, the charge of an electron is minus 1, while that of a proton is plus 1. Charged particles whose charges have the same sign repel one another, and particles whose charges have different signs attract. Coulomb's law quantifies the electrostatic force between two particles by asserting that the force is proportional to the product of their charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. The charge of an antiparticle equals that of the corresponding particle, but with opposite sign. Quarks have fractional charges of either minus or plus, but freestanding quarks have never been observed. The electric charge of a macroscopic object is the sum of the electric charges of the particles that make it up. This charge is often small, because matter is made of atoms, and atoms typically have equal numbers of protons and electrons, in which case their charges cancel out, yielding a net charge of zero, thus making the atom neutral. An ion is an atom that has lost one or more electrons giving it a net positive charge, or that has gained one or more electrons, giving it a net negative charge. Monatomic ions are formed from single atoms, while polyatomic ions are formed from two or more atoms that have been bonded together, in each case yielding an ion with a positive and negative net charge. During formation of macroscopic objects, constituent atoms and ions usually combine to form structures composed of neutral ionic compounds electrically bound to neutral atoms. Thus macroscopic objects tend toward being neutral overall, but macroscopic objects are rarely perfectly net neutral. Sometimes macroscopic objects contained ions distributed throughout the material, 
rigidly bound in place, giving an overall net positive or negative charge to the object. Also, macroscopic objects made of conductive elements, can more or less easily take on or give off electrons, and then maintain a net negative or positive charge indefinitely. When the net electric charge of an object is non-zero and motionless, the phenomenon is known as static electricity. This can easily be produced by rubbing two dissimilar materials together, such as rubbing amber with fur or glass with silk. In this way, non-conductive materials can be charged to a significant degree, either positively or negatively. Charge taken from one material is moved to the other material, leaving an opposite charge of the same magnitude behind. The law of conservation of charge always applies, giving the object from which a negative charge is taken a positive charge of the same magnitude, and vice versa. Even when an object's net charge is zero, charge can be distributed non-uniformly in the object. In such cases the object is said to be polarized. The charge due to polarization is known as bound charge, while charge on an object produced by electrons gained or lost from outside the object is called free charge. The motion of electrons in conductive metals in a specific direction is known as electric current. Units The SI unit of quantity of electric charge is the Coulomb, which is equivalent to about. Hence, the charge of an electron is approximately the Coulomb is defined as the quantity of charge that has passed through the cross-section of an electrical conductor carrying one ampere within one second. The symbol Q is often used to denote a quantity of electricity of charge. The quantity of electric charge can be directly measured with an electrometer or indirectly measured with a ballistic galvanometer. After finding the quantized character of charge, in 1891 George Sony proposed the unit electron for this fundamental unit of electrical charge. This was before the discovery of the particle by J. J. Thomson in 1897. The unit is today treated as nameless, referred to as elementary charge, fundamental unit of charge, or simply as E. A measure of charge should be a multiple of the elementary charge E, even if at large scales charge seems to behave as a real quantity. In some contexts it is meaningful to speak of fractions of a charge, for example in the charging of a capacitor, or in the fractional quantum hole effect. The unit Faraday is sometimes used in electrochemistry. 1 Faraday of charge is the magnitude of the charge of 1 mole of electrons, i.e. 9,648,533,289 c. In systems of units other than SI such as CGS, electric charge is expressed as combination of only three fundamental quantities, and not four as in SI, where electric charge is a combination of length, mass, time, and electric current. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by wikivd.com. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.